I was taking care of this elderly gentleman who lives up on Columbia Heights and I was describing to him what was happening on the piers. He had a big picture of the piers with all the warehouses on them from when he first moved here with the ships and everything out there. And he was in his 80s, he was blind, he was sort of housebound all the time. And once they opened, I said, I really want to bring you out of the house, take you to the park and take your shoes off and let you walk on the grass. That was a really special moment to be able to give that to him and he died just a couple years ago, but it was, it was one of those things that you think, okay, this is probably the only opportunity this man's gonna have to come put his bare feet in the grass after living in Brooklyn all these years. Whew, I'm sorry. But we used to come out with our coffee and sit on the promenade and watch it develop. It was like watching Central Park be built. It's enriched our lives so much. I have lived in Brooklyn Heights for 34 years, and we could just look at the waterfront through a chain link fence. Then this wonderful idea came up to build a beautiful park. It accommodates so many different groups of people and animals and plants. You get to have so many perspectives from way up high and down lower and lower and lower and until you're at the waterfront. We just threw some rocks in the water and made wishes off of them. <laughs> but um, we usually just stroll around, have some ice cream. It's just like a little escape from the city. It's a beautiful place and it sort of brings together nature and human beings in a very holistic environment. I just love this part right here. Although it looks like a thoroughfare, it's one of those little undiscovered spots and makes me work very well. I've come, I've done a lot of work sitting on a bench like this. A few weeks ago on a Friday, I was working here and I heard some jazz music in the background. So when I got off from work, I walked towards where I heard the music and there was this pop-up jazz that was happening. So I just sat there and I listened. It was a lovely evening. struck me about New York when I first started living here is how much water there was and how little access there was to it. And this park just kind of flipped that on its ear. It's just increased water access like you wouldn't believe. For me, it's very peaceful. I go paddleboarding to just relax. I take my spot by the Manhattan Bridge, just sit down for a little bit, turn around and come back. And uh, I, just, I just love it. This park is amazing for that. This is like a, a meeting place, so like my friends from all over, I have friends right downtown at Red Hook, friends in East New York, Brownsville, Harlem, Queens. So we all come here to play because there's so many courts, you know, they all have nets and such a pretty scene. 
we come here to ball. That's the best court over there. You come down, it's for the kids. It's like, it's, it's beautiful to see that New York gets these kind of things. But yeah, man, we are, it's just, it's a blessing to be here and have this here for us. Look at all the people out here, man. It's beautiful, we deserve this. Brooklyn.